grass withers and the flower fades, but your word is eternal. Genesis 11, verse number 6, the Bible says, And the Lord said, Indeed, the people are one. Somebody say they are one. They are one, and they all have one language. And this is what they begin to do now. Nothing that they purpose in their hearts to do will be withheld from them. Now, I like this version here. It says, nothing, say nothing. Nothing Nothing will be restrained from them which they have imagined. Nothing will be restrained from them which they have imagined. Say that with me. Say nothing Nothing will be restrained restrained from them them which they have imagined to do. It's one of the most powerful verses in the Bible. Say the power of possibilities. possibilities. Hallelujah. Lift up your right hand. Father, I thank you tonight. Use me for your glory. Bring to my remembrance everything you have taught me on possibility thinking. Transform our lives. In Jesus' name, somebody say amen. Amen. Hallelujah. You may be seated. Please keep that verse up there. Hallelujah. Many people, can I just get straight into it? Many people want their lives to change. They want transformation in, in their lives. They want to see results. They want to see great and mighty things happening in their lives. Do I have any of those people here tonight? And if you do not know what to do to cause change, You'll be waiting for change until Jesus comes. I am a person who's results oriented. I want results not only in my life, but also in the lives of the people. I want to see results. There must be a change. We are not uh, gathering unto just encouragement because hope deferred makes the heart sick. So, if I tell you what to do to change your life, you have to promise me that you will do it. I gave you ideas last week. Huh? I hope you got those ideas. If you didn't get them, please get the message from last week. Because it's a very important message. But I wanted to dig deeper into those ideas and the Lord said, stop. He said, if you do not teach them about possibility thinking, they will not achieve any of those ideas. Because if we don't understand what I'm going to teach tonight, we're going to continue to go in circles. What I'm going to share with you tonight can literally, literally revolutionize your life completely. There is no one in their right mind who wants to remain in the same place. No one in their right mind. We want to see changes, positive changes in our lives. God, I was saying on Sunday, God has put something on the inside of you that will cause you to desire more, better. Am I talking to somebody? And so, if it is too big for your mind, it is too big for your hand. If something is too big for your mind, it is too big for your hand. So, heaven, good to see you, Mama. God bless you. Amen. Heaven is waiting with things to release to you but heaven is waiting for you to think it I'll give that to you again 
heaven is waiting for you to think it before heaven can deliver it. If it is too big for your mind, it is too big for your hand. And I'm going to say a lot of powerful statements tonight that you're going to have to go home and meditate on and really think about. We do deliverance. You saw it here on Friday night. Cast out devils, me and my generals here. But the biggest devil sits in your mind. Because the mind, your mind is your world. Your mind is your world. Your experiences thus far are just but a room. And your mind is the world. It's a powerful scripture. Uh, as a man thinketh in his heart. Now heart is not this red thing here inside. When the Bible is talking about heart. Uh, he's talking about your subconscious mind. You need to get that. As a man thinks, because the heart is not the one that thinks, it's your mind, if you think about it. So he's talking about your subconscious mind. So what you think in your mind, you become. If you have not thought deeply enough about being married, you won't be. If you, your whole thought process is hinged on you being an employee and not an employer, you will remain as an employee. No one can make you go into business. You have to think it. You have to think it. You have to think it. When you think it, you will become it. So now automatically, it, it, it now uh, places a very uh, large importance on what I think. Because your life today is a sum total of what you have been thinking all this time. So how do I change my life? I change my life by what I think. I change my life by what I think. Young men, I hope you've got a notebook. Don't go go to it. If you do not have a notebook, stand up from there. Go and get a notebook. I'm not an entertainer. You need to write these things down. Not go go to Write them down. So when you go home, you you meditate on them. You put them in your spirit. This is the problem of Africa. We want entertainment. We want entertainment. We don't want information. If you're not informed, you'll be deformed. So the enemy does not want you to put anything important into your mind. Because what you put in your mind will soon be in your hand. I need you to get what I'm saying tonight. You will never build a house until you start thinking about it. You have to learn to paint pictures in your mind. Look at that scripture. He says, nothing will be restrained from them which they have imagined. Which they have imagined. Which they have imagined. You have to learn the art of imagination. Imagination. What is imagination? Building pictures in your mind. Building pictures in your mind. I'm going somewhere, I promise you. Building pictures in your mind. 
What is possibility thinking? It is thinking that is outside the box. That is possibility thinking. It is thinking beyond your restrictions. What is possibility thinking? It is thinking beyond your limitations. So one of the biggest problems we have is we have impossibility thinking. So we think why things cannot be done. Instead of imagining the fact that it can actually be done. On Sunday when I was talking about God encounters. And I said you are a God. Many people in church looked at me like I'm crazy. And I'm continuing along those lines on Sunday. You're going to see something powerful on Sunday. So, nothing can be restrained from them. Not even God can stop you. You didn't get me. Listen to me. These people were building a tower of Babel, if you read. And you know what they said? Listen to what they said. And we will build a tower all the way up to heaven. Read your Bible. And God's, God had to come and disturb them. How did he disturb them? He came and confuse their language. <laughs> so the enemy has taken this from the book of Genesis. How does he stop you from achieving something? He comes with confusion. The word division is a word that can be divided into two. Die, meaning two. And then vision. So when the devil wants to mess you up, he will give you another vision. Then you have two visions. That is division. So your mind is divided. How are people's minds divided? Will it happen? Will it not happen? You're finished. He brought division in the Garden of Eden. Has God really said? He brought doubt. That's how he operates. He brings doubt. The voice of doubt is the voice of the enemy. The voice of doubt is the voice of the enemy. Pay attention tonight. Your life depends on it. There are many things you want to achieve. There are many things you can achieve. But you have to tap into the power of possibility thinking. The power of possibility thinking. We could not fill up this hall until I imagined it. It is illegal for heaven to release to you something you have not imagined. Hey, I wish somebody would get that in their spirit. I don't see myself ever being married. No problem. Enjoy singular. Huh? If you do not see it, you cannot have it. You need to get these things down. Meditate on them. If you do not see it, you cannot have it. If you see yourself continuously earning only $400, you have placed a limitation upon your life. 400 Your mind is very powerful because great things are birthed in your mind. Great things are birthed in your mind. At the same time, evil things are birthed in your mind. Guard your heart, your mind, with all diligence. For out of it, out of your mind, flows the issues of life. Why are you not going house shopping? 
it is because your mind has told you you can't afford it. Listen to me. Your mind is a living creature. Your mind is your most powerful asset. It's your most powerful asset. <laughs> what are you feeding that living creature? <laughs> what you feed your mind is what you think on. <laughs> Milton, let me blow your mind. You cannot think poverty the whole day and experience abundance. So, Urusingra, play. <laughs> As nothing shall be withheld from you, which you have imagined. So, if you imagine yourself poor, it will not be withheld from you. To be released, the heavens will release to you. That's why although some would have been offended at Bishop's message, it was very important. Yeah, because there are some things which you are looking at as normal and it is not normal. It is because your mind has accepted that this is how my life should be. What are you feeding your mind? My mind is my world. My mind is a garden. I water my mind. I kill snakes in my garden. I plant seeds in my garden. Amen. <laughs> Africa has the greatest natural resources, but the most pathetic minds. That's why we can sit on diamonds. And it takes one Lebanese to come from outside to come and give you 5% of the value. And we celebrate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Do you know that the chiefs, the old chiefs, Kudara, they sold whole gold mine fields in exchange for a mirror. You don't study history. Grass, mirror, so that the chief could look at himself. He would give away a whole piece of land. And then the people who own the land would start mining the diamonds. Why? Our minds. So the devil is happy when you are entertainment driven. <laughs> Because he knows, no matter how prayerful you are, you are getting nowhere. You will go nowhere. Urusu Gura in scripture, nothing which they have imagined shall be withheld from them. So in other words, if you imagine nothing, you get nothing. <laughs> how do I imagine something? I, 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 I ponder on a thought until I see a picture. Because your mental picture determines your actual future. It is your mental picture that determines your actual future. Your mental picture. Your mental picture. Your mental picture. Romans 12, verse 1 to 2 says, Do not be conformed to this world, but be ye what? Transformed how? By the? By the? So it is not deliverance that transforms your life. It is not. We are not preaching against deliverance. We do it. And deliverance, there are more people than this because people believe demons are the problem. So, no problem. We'll do deliverance. You're welcome. Come on Friday. 
But the biggest problem is here. That's why someone can sit in church. Ugarabu shiko kutira no kutira mpana. And you become like most Christians. Poor, pathetic, and tongue-talking. No results. Speaking tongues all the way to poverty. While unbelievers are imagining things. Huh? 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 Your mind is very powerful because your mind, listen to me, Mike, your imagination has got two parts. Two parts, your imagination. Two, it's got the memory, which is replaying your past. That's your imagination. You can use your imagination for that. Replaying your past. Or you can use contemplation, pre-playing your future. So many people, when you talk of imagination, all they deal with is replaying their past. So they dwell in the past. And they live in the past. I can't... Uh, uh, imagine what they did to me. This happened. That happened. Can you imagine? And they are painting a picture of the past. And they do not have even one single picture of the future. So they live in their past. David, when he was about to defeat Goliath, he used both parts, memory and contemplation. He tapped into memory in his imagination. What did he say? He said, I've killed the lion. I've killed the bear. And then he pre-played the future. Today, I will cut off your head. I wish you would get what I'm saying. You need to learn to use the past and the future both in your mind. I told you, change the pictures in your house. Thank God for your wedding. But are those the only pictures? Listen to me. The mind is so powerful. The mind retains 80% of what you see and 20% of what you hear. 80% of what you see and 20% of what you hear. That's why we should have a chat because they're the only pictures in your house. Sister, that black Mercedes Benz that I have, the black one, for that car to be in my hands, I had to put a picture of it. It's in my office. There's a whole book. I went with no, with, without a single cent, I went to Zimoko. I said, I want the catalog of that car. I'm going to end it. Rent. R rent. I said, I said about the rent. <laughs> Possibility mentality is the master key to doing the impossible. The master key to doing the impossible. It is the master key to doing exploits. I don't care how prayerful you are. Your life will never change until you change your imagination. <laughs> and the television. The devil is telling you a vision. That's what television means. Go and look at the spelling. Tell a vision. He's telling you a vision. Why? Because he knows 80% of what you see. 
Do you know what many people call marriage? What you see on TV. What you saw your father do. That's why you do what your father did. Though you don't like it, you do it. That's what you saw. I'm telling you the truth. Because you think you don't want to have a problem. People, we need to change what we are seeing. Listen to me. That cell phone that you are using to Google pornography, you are supposed to Google information that will transform your life. Because you will never prosper beyond your revelation. If the devil can get you into an ignorant, exciting church, it's half his job done. I'm not going to say, yeah, yeah, yeah. Prophesy, yeah, yeah. Celebrating one man who might not make it to heaven because of glory issues. Write this down. Move past the limitation of your senses. Your world does not end where your senses end. <laughs> what did God say to Abraham? And look to the north, east, south, west. What did he say? All the land which you... What will I do? <laughs> what will I do? I'll give it to you. Now, do you know why we limited our minds? We thought all the land I can see with my eyes. What about the one you can see with your mind? I have, I have properties, a number of properties. I can't see all of them with my eyes now, but with my mind I can see them, so they are mine. Someone called me today. He says, man of God, I, I want to offer you this vehicle. I said, okay. All right, I have just bought a vehicle. And the Lord said to me, possibility thinking. So I went and I saw it. Opened it. Looked around. Nice car. Gold S-Class. I said, hmm. What did I begin to do? To imagine myself inside. I didn't say, Andamad. Iman thing. My bills. Why? Let this mind be in you. That was also in Christ Jesus. He did not consider it robbery to be equal with God. One scripture. <laughs> he did, that's where I'm going on Sunday. That's my scripture on Sunday. He did not consider it robbery to be equal with God. You hear saying, hey. Let this mind be in you. You can buy a house. Let this mind be in you. You can start a conglomerate of companies. Let this mind, let this mind, not this prayer, let this mind, let this mind be in you. What are you imagining? What are you thinking? And your body responds to your thoughts. Your body goes where you think. Your body does what. Listen to me. Dr. Nukta says so. Oh, but you are suffering from stress. Why? Your body has responded to your mind. Someone can be HIV positive and not know it. Nothing will be wrong with them. The moment they get a doctor's report, they're HIV positive, the body begins to respond to their thoughts. So your life moves towards what you think. So to change your life, you change what you think, then you move towards it. Simple. Hatskuda <laughs> kufunga. If the devil can stop you from thinking, he has won his battle. Everything in your hand today began in your mind yesterday. <laughs> Amen. 
everything in your hand today began in your mind yesterday. Whatever you cannot imagine, you cannot receive. How, how will you receive it? How will you receive it? <laughs> your problem is not the problem. It is your mentality that is the problem. Because every problem has a solution. So you need to think solution, not think problem. The problem is there, we can see it. <laughs> How about imagining the solution? Scriptures like, I can do all things through Christ. I can, do. can you imagine? Listen to me. When you, I learned this. When you, when you program your mind to think for five minutes flat about one thought, it will birth an idea. Five minutes straight. You're not thinking of anything else. Your phone is switched off or it's on silent. Your focus is on one thing. And setting your face as a flint. Because focus is the womb of accomplishment. Amen. You have a great future. You are just not thinking about it. Let me ask you a question. If you go to a, a real estate agent, do they check your balance, your bank balance before they show your houses? If there are companies going concerns that are being sold on the marketplace. <laughs> Do they check your bank balance before? So why are you not going shopping? Listen to me. There is a big conglomerate of companies inside you. But I was Kuzifunga. You are being limited by your past failures. God has given you possibility thinking. Think possibility. Think possibility. Think possibility. Think possibility. I, I want you to get this. If you think divorce long enough, it will come to pass. Listen to me. This is what Job said. And na Job that which I feared the most. What has happened? It has come upon me. Why? Because he meditated on it long enough. Job gave sacrifices out of fear. Read your Bible. I like Tuesday because it's a small crowd. Because greatness is not found in a crowd. Not one out of a turn of a prize. Vaku shan, Vaku. Now they are now destroying that equipment. Vaku Gazrama dish. The African mind. How many books have you read today? So, if you have read nothing today, your mind has been thinking of what you knew yesterday. Most of the knowledge you have is expired, but you are refusing to renew it. I do not have a thought of poverty in my mind. It can't even cross my mind. How? How? Because I meditate on powerful concepts the whole day. The whole day. I'm thinking possibilities.
masofa chayo chayo so twa chinje 11 years chine marexin let the man of god say i want to come and pray at your house start to give all the excuses sofa chayo ndi ono za kuti unogarwa sei Wote wenzi wagare pane rimwe. Because I know iri re pane re magariro magariro anoitwa. Because uta kwa daiso chidino ne. The bed is now a banana bed. <laughs> Eri chero makatukana na madam still chako sangana pakati chete you still meet chako one way or the other chawirana unende yo unende unende asi chao yapa mambo rara makagumburana kagumura But kana room kana kana banana bed majika gravity <laughs> just mbeda <laughs> wa banana bed you have not thought of the possibility of buying a silly prostrapedic a set That's why I have nightmares. It's not spiritual warfare. <laughs> Some of it is the bed. Hey. How you think determines how you live. because all those I gave you 54 business ideas they mean nothing if you do not have possibility thinking is what i'm saying making sense you know the problem when we get a business idea in our mind you know what we think as tengwe so tengwe nani vana vana mari you know you can sit there today and convince yourself kuti vana vana mari vana vana mari hey mazano hey yeah faith and you know what faith cometh by Aha. so the more you say it the more it is established in your spirit and what's left the experience this message must change your life what are you still doing in one room the same room kitchen same room bathroom lounge stroke dining and also it's in the corner in the corner is pant what is your vision to marry to marry to bring someone into that nonsense Neo no nyengo ne zvakadaro ndione dambudziko He's cute one room There's nothing wrong with starting there there's something wrong if you stay there I want to understand since ndakagusa one room don't look at me like that possibility thinking break out break free Can I tell you the biggest problem in the church? Can I tell you lack of exposure? Lack of exposure. Anyone has an exposure and narrow. My way. Kunza anti kumazola uchafi kwa zvo zvete dza. No. No, don't tell me how to dress. 
I've been wearing this dress the past 15 years. Look at the material. It's crumble. But there's other things. Your hairstyle tells me your exposure. Now she's wondering what her hair looks like today. Imbokiro bars across the border under Joe Big. Why do you get angry at your husband when he looks at other women? Ah, uh-uh. no. When your husband looks at other women, you must also look at the woman. Also look at that woman. Power of possibility thinking. attitude is nabasa. I'm not blind. I'm going to look. Check what I'm looking at. Import it. That you can tell her. <laughs> no, but no, this is wisdom that I'm sharing here. Because my hairstyle are good change. Eh? You're going to have the same hairstyle. I said, I the hairstyle. Because we, we can't mention the hairstyle without touching someone here. No, no, but I don't want to. It will affect my. It's month and I need to pay bills. It will affect my bottom line. <laughs> someone might withhold the tithe. <laughs> Possibility thinking. TV, you have a chirpa Let me help you. You should have TV in a dumbo. I can't swim out my hero. Miza, mnani TV ne dumbu, nge speaker ye. As TV, TV, chere chuna. Ena no kaza ku day and night. As ya kapera chubu. That is God telling you, giving you a sign. God is giving you a sign. What is God saying? Plasma. TV is going to be a stool. TV is going to be a stool. It's wall. Wall mounted on a bracket. Preferably a swivel bracket. You haven't been to my office. You'll be blessed. <laughs> First you'll be surprised. <laughs> then you'll be blessed. You're in my office today. What's wrong with Africans? You are supposed to, you are supposed to, listen to me, you are told, focus on your assignment. Eh? Win this match, we'll give you money. You say, no, give me the money first. And what do you do? Do you win? No, you lose. Because our focus is wrong. Someone needs to go and buy a TV. So exposure is the price you have to pay. Exposure. 
Kwira buzz enda ku Botswana ku. Ungunoona. Tsaga mari ya buzz. Aditi. And Unoshka Armak said, you don't even have to sleep there. Don't even worry about Maria Kura Rego. Unoshka Armak said. Kune, ero buzz acha ra usumuka ra usuka na Armak said. Uno sumuka maneru. Mascat, ona. Fura mazisu, chuona. And ocha shami sika. Because we are in South Africa, we are going to heart attack. So we need you to start in Botswana. Your dressing has not changed. Power of possibility. You refuse to read. When you read a book, let me tell you what happens. When you read a book, you have tapped into the highest thoughts of that individual. <laughs> lift up one of those millionaires' packages. You see that? That there is called the Kingdom Millionaire's Package. It's a hundred US dollars. What is in that is my highest thoughts over a hundred hours of study. My highest thoughts. When I was thinking at my best and I would write it down, you now get it for $100. That's nothing. Can you imagine? Over eight hours of teaching with a study guide, the highest thoughts of an individual. So some, some of those things took me 10 years to learn, 20 years to learn. That's why the Bible says, buy the truth and sell it not. But someone saying, ah, my name is CD8. CD you not You're not buying the CD. You're buying the information. Do you understand? That is exposing yourself to other thought processes. Someone sees something you don't. Someone knows something you don't. So when you study the materials of other great people, what are you doing? You are rubbing your mind with their minds. Iron sharpens iron. So we need to change how we think. Think different. You cannot be different until you think different. Write that down. You cannot be different until you think different. And you cannot make a difference until you think different. So your thinking pattern must change. Your thinking pattern must change. Am I talking to somebody here? Yes. Oral. What is revelation? Revelation is that which stretches your imagination. Finish. That's why when I bring out a revelation now, where does it hit? It hits your mind. And then you see another picture. I have stretched your imagination. Okay, write this statement down. Revelation stretches your imagination to beautify your destination. Revelation stretches your imagination to beautify your destination. The reason why people don't give is because they can't imagine a harvest. If you never catch the revelation of giving, you will never taste God's harvest. In toil and sweat shall you live. Write this down. <clears throat> Enlarge your information bank. And your possibilities become more elastic. Enlarge your information bank. In your bedroom, if there are more shoes than books, we have a problem. Yeah. 
because it means you're only interested in looking clever. And how can you not invest in your most important asset? Do you know something? I said this this morning. You cannot get into your destiny without crushing Goliath. Huh? And you can't crush Goliath without imagining it. When David got onto the scene, there were many people there. Huh? The army of Israel was there. What were they doing? They were imagining Goliath killing them. <laughs> David got there. What did he imagine? He imagined himself killing Goliath. Did he do it or not? Huh? So nothing will be withheld from you which you imagine. So you have to imagine yourself closing that million dollar deal. Yeah. You have never written a million, even on a scrap piece of paper. It will not cost you anything. And why, why write one million? Why one? <laughs> Just kidding what I'm saying. God gives you a, a prophetic word, a million dollar prophetic word. You have not even studied the biography of one millionaire. You have not studied. What is studying the Bible? It's studying other great men. Huh? So in your industry, in your real estate industry, who are the big men? Have you studied their biographies? So you need to study their biographies. How did they do it? What mistakes did they make? It's all on the internet. We are privileged to have the internet these days. You don't have to go into a library and do all sorts of fun. You just Google and you get the information. But what do we spend our time doing? Nigerian movies. We know that the grass withers and the flower fades, but your word is eternal. Destiny